Okay, so the movies just let out. I am not used to being outside this late. <laughs> let me tell y'all, it is fucking cold. This time of night, I have usually taken my medicine and gotten under my blankets. And I am out dead after I take my medicine. I don't even realize how fucking cold it is outside. But, so I went to see Twister tonight. Shit was crazy. I've seen the movie. Like, we had the VHS. I've seen that movie a hundred damn times. And it's just, it's one of those movies that is still good. The hundred and first time, it will probably still be good the two hundredth time. I absolutely adore this fucking movie. I'm so glad that I pushed myself to come out and watch it. So somebody was asking how I got a free movie ticket from the library. And I've explained this once before, but I can explain it again. Once I breathe a little bit, I'm walking. Um, the Los Angeles library has a lot of things that they offer and one of the uh, things that the, the library offers are museum tickets. The film that I saw a screening of tonight was screened at a museum, the Museum of Motion Pictures. And so because it's a museum, the library gives out free tickets. And normally, with these museum movies, there will also be a special guest speaker. So we went in tonight, the movie started at 7.30, and I didn't get out until almost 10.30 because we had two guest speakers tonight. We had uh, Daniel Swain, I'm hoping I get these names right. I've got them written down so I can put videos of them with their names up because I filmed them. There were a lot of people filming them. I didn't feel bad. Um, Daniel Swain, who was a scientist and cl a climate scientist. And I know I'm not going to get this name wrong. Right, I mean. But he, Habib, uh, something poor. I'll have to look it up. But he actually worked on Twister. He worked as the digital design artist. He actually designed the fucking Twisters in the movie which was very cool to sit and listen to them for a little bit and also they brought their buddy some dude named white who worked on wakanda forever which is a film i haven't seen yet so y'all have to tell me if you know who that is so even though i've seen this movie a whole lot when i was younger i forgot a whole lot of it like i thought i knew this movie I forgot they fucking killed the bad guys. And the bad guys weren't even that bad. They were just fellow storm chasers. And they got fucking sucked up and thrown out and just like destroyed for being fellow storm chasers. <laughs> I thought that was pretty fucked up that I did not remember. I knew a lot of people died because it's a natural disaster. But I didn't remember that the actual villains of the film who were not the Twister, died. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was trying to say. Oh yeah, one weird thing happened, and I was going to ask y'all how, if y'all think this is normal or not. This might just be a human thing. So the film ends, the credits start rolling, and everybody cheers. Right. And we're all staying for the credits because we know we're going to have this Q&A with these two people afterwards. So Helen Hunt's name comes up, and there's dead silence. Bill Paxton comes up and everybody starts cheering. And then it's silent again until Philip Seymour Hoffman pops up and everybody's cheering. And I'm sitting here like, why are we disjointedly cheering like this? Why isn't everybody getting this? And then it popped in my head, oh, these actors are dead. <laughs> why are we only cheering the dead? Do we think they can see us? <laughs> and we know the living can't? Like. I don't get it, but there we were in this packed theater, just all cheering the dead while leaving the living actors unacknowledged. It was very strange. <laughs> I'm probably going to talk some more about the movie when I get home. I'm all full of adrenaline right now, but I got about a five mile walk, so it's fine. I'll get it out.